Uh, hi, how you doing, Council? This is your daily reading for June 15th. And uh, for your overall energy, I get a wild card on the, the star. It's like you have the universe in your hands. You can do whatever you want, you know? Um, you have goals and plans. You have somebody you want to be. You might be wanting to be a star in the situation. Uh, you might be work, working on a situation that's going to make you a star or people might look up to you. Um, but it needs to be worked on. You know, you're still in the working process of getting that. But you have your eye on the price. You have what you need, you know. Uh, with the world card, I think new cycles are opening themselves to you. New... Um, new ways of doing things, new life experiences, um, just really uh, new cycles coming through. And with the Queen of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords in reverse and the Seven of Pentacles, it's like you, uh, you were in this energy of um, having something you possess, something you hold dearly, um, you're having a pentacle. It could be financial wealth. It could be, uh, you know, uh, um, something of value you hold. Uh, it could be naturally given to you. It could be a natural born talent. It could be... Um, but with the pentacle being there, I really think uh, it's more of a materialistic, you know, you have it and uh, you can make a mold of it, you know. Uh, from the queen of pentacles, you get the ten of so, ten of wands in reverse, which is really telling me you are um, holding on to something. Uh, something might be really heavy buttons that are just you carrying and they're just bothering you as you move along through your life. But... All you want is something for a long term. It's something to settle down with. All you want is um, to be free and just invest in the long term, I would say. Uh, free in, in terms of uh, nothing bothering your thoughts, nothing bothering your mind, nothing really uh, going rapid on your in your world, I would say. But you're holding on to something. You're holding on to something as you move forward, and um, I feel like that might that might bite you back, you know, as you move forward. Because I see you looking in the, I would say in the future, trying to set up yourself for the long term. Uh, I think it would be really best if you let these buttons go. Something you're holding, something that's uh, heavying you. It might be a really good time to just uh, put those buttons down and just embrace uh, yourself for the long term. Because I see you saving up yourself for a long time, trying to invest your money somewhere that's going to uh, pay you back in the future. Um, as you move forward through the world card and these new experiences, I think you want this pentacle to last longer. That's why you are spreading it out. And uh, as you do that, as you do the spreading, as you come from the Queen of Pentacles to the Ten of, uh, to the, to the ten of Wands, you get the five of wands, you know, uh, you might be having this conflict within you, uh, choosing what direction you want to head in, and uh, it could be could be giving you a hard time, you know, I don't know if you want to go ahead with this or just want to um, put a pause in it, uh, but there's a decision you have to make, you know, uh, you get the knight of pentacles and the chariot, um, I see you making movement. Uh, it could be towards this uh, investment, uh, some plan you have in investing in yourself or things around you, in um, where you want to press this pentacle. And with the chariot, I see you picking a direction you want to head in. You come from the two of wands to the knight of pentacle to the chariot. It's like, where do I head? What do I pick? And I see you making a decision with the knight of pentacles and you choosing what direction to head in. And that in terms of that direction, it might be giving you a hard time. It might be causing one conflict within your head. But uh, I see you really uh, taking action towards it. I get the Ace of Pentacles, the High Priestess, the Seven of Cups, the Death Card, and the Five of Pentacles. Uh, 
there is a an opportunity presenting itself, a financial opportunity or just an opportunity that's gonna increase your finances, that's gonna that's presenting itself towards you and. Um, with the high priestess, I think you're taking some time to think about it. You're taking some time to really um, analyze it, understand yourself, what you need. Because I feel like with this Ace of Pentacles, it's really going to improve uh, your standards, your living standards as well. Uh, so you're really trying to, I would say, get in touch with yourself. Yeah. Uh, with the Seven of Cups, I think you have. I think you you're realizing. That you have options you know you have options around you uh, ten of Pentacles no ugh, ten of Wands two of cups ten of Wands two of Wands seven of cups really um, not letting go of your buttons it could be like um, Let's say in a relationship, you try and settle down, but you can't let go of the people you have around you. Uh, you have a decision to make between people, but you're not really trying to uh, decide. Could be um, you're getting offers around you, uh, would say business offers, and you um, you do not want to let them go. You just want. I feel like you want them at the same time uh, with the S of Pentacles. You know, there is a decision that you have to make. Uh, between your options something gotta die you know some of your options gotta go and uh, there is no denying that some of the options you let go some of the people you let go some of the um, offers you let go they're going to feel left out in the cold but they will have to move on as a chariot because you know at the end of the day we're gonna move on you know but I see you really focusing on your start on your goal and the new beginnings that are coming for you yeah.